Hey Dumplies, it's Dave Decide. Today I want to get into a few topics. There are some people very upset with the recent announcement of BTS and Benny Blanco collab. Some are even angry towards Jungkook for some reason. And then we also have Hybe terminating a contract with Gara. So hater or not, make sure you subscribe with the notification bell on. Grab a dumpling, no tea spilling mug merch. Let's get into it. If you aren't aware, there was a lot of controversy for the new girl group Le Seraphim. This is Hybe's maybe like second or third attempt at creating a girl group. And the first time it was deemed a failure if their first group was believed to be called Glam. It was believed one of the members left due to personal reason, but also believed that there was a specific stalker that kept bothering one of the members up until debut, and there was like a video blackmail thing. And this was all alleged, but ultimately Hive or Big Hit at the time did decide to disband the group and nothing further happened with that. It was also believed that this is why Hive was so bent on making sure La Seraphim worked out. They wanted to have a big successful girl group that they created and get rid of that stigma that the industry had of them which was that they couldn't produce their own successful girl group. They have G-Friend and those types of artists that Hive acquired through acquisitions but none of their own. So when the rumors of La Seraphim member Garam came out that she allegedly bullied her classmates it was a big deal not only as it was a bad look for the company but they had allegedly already put all this money and effort into the group and they were so close to debut. What were they going to do? Hive denied the rumors heavily and when the alleged bullying victim came out with more quote-unquote evidence, Hive also heavily denied that. And we even get to see Garm's participation in some of the group activities. But ultimately, Hive decided to halt or suspend her participation in the group activities. But a new statement came out that was very interesting to say the least. Hive announced that Garm will not be participating in the activities at all anymore, and the group will continue without Garm. Seems like they will not replace her, but just continue the group as a five-member group. Now, I do want wonder if Hive had gotten new information that was almost irrefutable or what the case was. Why did they suddenly agree to just get rid of her? It does bother me because if the rumors of the bullying were untrue, then they are literally getting rid of someone who is innocent. She is being punished for not having done anything wrong, but just that the public doesn't like her. And ultimately what speaks is money. And so if the audience is saying that they will not support La Seraphim because of Garam, then any company would make the decision to get rid of her regardless of her innocence or not. A Hive representative did come out and give another statement on the situation. They apparently said, Although the agency approached the issue and attempted to take action with the utmost care and caution, we admit that there were some aspects to the agency's approach which were inadequate, and so we would like to apologize. Now take these statements, sometimes with a grain of salt, they're usually released by a news outlet, which means unless we know for sure that this news outlet works alongside Hive, you can't verify if it was actually said. It's not like it's released on Weverse or anything like that. But I do think it's interesting. If they actually did say this, they are basically saying that they should have looked more into it and they apologize. But I don't think they have to. There is nothing wrong with an agency standing by their talent and artist. You should be more upset by Hive if they were just so easily able to just get rid of their artist at a drop of a hat. It's nice to hear that for a long time, Hive decided to stick by her and really heavily support her still. It shows the character of the people that work at Hive. But I am curious what your take is here. Do you think they were forced to continue the group without Garam. What do you think of the whole situation? It was interesting to wake up to this news this morning. It was also interesting to wake up to another group doing a collaboration and continuing. It was confirmed that BTS will be collabing with Benny Blanco. Benny is a very big producer in the industry. You have probably heard several of his songs such as Diamonds by Rihanna, East Side with Halsey, and there's so many. This guy creates some of the best music. BTS and Benny, I believe, officially met backstage at one of BTS's concerts. He took a photo with them. Benny posted the photo on Twitter with the caption, Did I just join the band? He was accused of clout chasing and looking for attention for saying this. While this is a joke that artists can say in America with American groups, it seems to be a very sensitive issue among K-pop. You cannot ask to join or change anything about a group because the fandoms are very sensitive to this idea that the group must entirely remain exactly as is. And I would even go further to say that if you refer to a K-pop group as a band or as Asian, you will get hate for that because no, they're not a band, they're a group, and they're not Asian, they're Korean. You will get people writing and yelling at you saying all this in caps in your comments. So, of course, many people accuse Benny of clout chasing for even taking this photo with BTS and all that. Benny also has some dirty jokes on his TikTok account, jokes and videos in which I cannot post here as they will have adult toys in them. And it's hilarious. 100% my type of humor, and again, the fandom doesn't want anything like that to associate with the boys, even remotely. So Benny got backlash for that. Now, these 
pieces of backlash were definitely smaller compared to the other bigger backlash that he got. Benny did a TikTok video a little while ago where he showed an email that appeared to have come from the label asking Benny to do a remix for BTS. He remixed Fake Love and several other songs into one TikTok video and he even recorded a little quote unquote music video. It was just Benny being silly while the remix played and this caused backlash for some reason. People were saying that the remix was bad and they didn't like it. This happened a little while ago and even though some armies didn't like it, it kind of remained just a remix for his account and armies let it go. It was brought up again today because Benny had announced through a series of TikTok videos that he wanted to join the band. Everyone in BTS said no, but they announced that they will be making a song together. Later in the day, the official schedule was released saying when the music video will drop and it will drop on August 4th and 5th, depending on your time zone. And then that will be on Benny's channel. And then for the lyric video, we will get that around the same time, maybe a day later on BTS's channel. Since Benny announced this, people were going back as they usually do to find either clues or to see his work. And some people decided that they didn't like the remix and were mad that BTS was choosing to work with Benny. Again, accusing Benny of cloud chasing. BTS didn't invent clout. They aren't the only one in the industry that has clout. They are currently really hot and will be for a while, but what was the industry before they took over? Benny has had clout for ages. He has had like unlimited clout because he's hilarious and also he has worked with every big artist alive. I think BTS is honored to work with him the same way he is honored to work with BTS. This became a big issue when solo fans got a hold of news. For some reason, the idea of getting more BTS content is something upsetting to these fans because they don't want it. I don't know. Some solo fans were upset over people defending Benny and saying that he's not bad or that his work isn't bad. And there were definitely a lot of people who were defending Benny because his jokes and personality may be weird, but he definitely does not make bad music. As I said, I think it's a wonderful opportunity for BTS. But apparently these solo fans hate the idea of Jungkook next to any person and they just want Jungkook to be the only celebrity that exists. And they were hoping that since Jungkook along with BTS will be working with Benny, that the song would flop. I think it's so interesting to like a group so much and be so obsessed with them so much that you could actually wish the group to flop. If anything they do flops, then you will no longer have BTS. They wouldn't be able to afford to be a group. They'd have to switch to another career or retire. Artists' lives depend on our support. So hoping that a song flops or purposely not streaming it because you don't like who they're working with is not a good solution. What we can do is stop hating everyone that BTS is working with. Every single artist that BTS has worked with has gotten into a scandal very shortly after working with BTS. This is not a coincidence. Stop this. Regardless of whether that person that BTS is working with may or may not have done anything in the past, it does not matter. BTS wants to work with this person because their music is good and BTS wants to create music. Unlike in K-pop, the American industry is a bit different. Good and bad. Artists do not go through this rigorous training process that K-pop idols go through. They typically have lives and party and even do drugs before they become artists. They may also say things every now and then that can be misinterpreted because they aren't aware of the sensitivity and why would they be? They have other things going on than monitoring the sensitivity of the fandom. And oftentimes their work isn't their life. So a lot of people are going to have some skeletons in their closet. If it's not like murder or anything that bad, then it's not worth bringing up or it's not even that big of a deal. But what do you think? Do you think Jungkook will be angry at these solo fans that wish BTS to flop? I think he would be angry. And how do you feel about the collab? Are you looking forward to it as much as I am? Let me know what you think. Make sure you check out my Patreon for more videos. Link down below. Thanks for this lovely comment right here. Love you. Bye. Thank you.